looks like I'm rolling with a dirty shirt. Dirty bird. Welcome to the Outdoor Lands Last Cast video segment. It's kind of a post-show wrap-up of some of the things we were just talking about on the radio show this morning. One of the things we didn't talk about on the show this morning were hoochie spinners. Mm -hmm. uh, with all of our salmon entering the rivers here, especially out on the coast, the hoochie spinners one great way to get these salmon to bite, especially the coastal salmon. They really like that hoochie spinner. For deal. some reason. And this is yep. really catching on. Now these yep. are these new uh, bullet spinners uh, from Blue Fox. Of course the Vibrax has been one of the mainstays uh, of salmon fishing for years and years and years, but right. now Blue Fox came out with this bullet spinner. It's really heavy. Uh, this bell here, uh, instead of having that, that Vibrax Vibrax? What do you call it? Vibrax? That? I don't know what the inside the bell. You got the little gear that spins, yeah. and that's what makes the Vibrax vibrate and puts out the sound. Well, it's hollow though. So instead mm -hmm. of that, that's just a solid lead bell on there. Now these are yep. really heavy. So this isn't that vibrating inner center that you know makes that additional noise on top of your spinner yeah. blade action. This is a solid lead. It's going to sink. It's going to sink more. But they're going to work. They're I know they're great. Work. And it has a different blade design. That's that. Yeah. Uh, well, it's just offset an offset blade, blade. Yep. And, uh, and so we've, we've stuck some hoochies on here. What you do is, is these come with a split ring on the bottom. Uh, all you do is take off the original hook, you put a swivel on there, and then what I do is I use these Mustad open eye sidewash hooks. This is a 108, 48 black nickel hook. They come with a really big eye. Okay, you pinch that hook on there. All you got to do is slide that hoochie up and over the top of that big, uh, big eye. And it'll hold that thing on. There. Stays there real good. Yeah. Now you got a you got a pink one there. That's kind of one of the main colors. Or I would say if you're going to go fish the Chehalis in pursuit of coho, you're going to find a lot of fish rolling right now. They're holding up. They're just kegged up, and and any of the flat stretches on the Chehalis. It's no secret. There's a ton of fish in there. They're rolling all day. They're not very aggressive biters. And you can cast spinners and plugs. It's kind of the old standard, not producing a lot of bites. And the best results guys are having is to simply troll. And you're just flatlining your hoochie spinners. You know, get them 100 feet back behind the boat because once the boat goes through on, a, on idle on your kicker, the fish kind of push off and then they'll settle back in. You're gonna have better result if you're at least 100 feet behind your boat. And just flatline them. Control on idle. I mean, drill slow speed. Lower stretches of the shahalas. Just low. all, yeah. Uh, you know, from uh, from the monty put in up. Just mm -hmm. keep cruising on up and just just go a couple miles up. Turn around, come literally come a couple miles back down. Mm -hmm. But pink is always a good, solid, go-to color on the Chehalis. Pink spinners, pink hoochies. Any particular kind of hoochie, like a, a UV or a glow? Or I a like to go with either the UV or the glow. More yeah. preferably the UV. You know, the, the, the Chehalis, along with all the uh, streams out there, rivers out there, is running low. It doesn't look like it, but it is. And it always runs dirty. However, right now you can drop your gear down in the water and you can see it a couple feet down. You do have a couple feet of visibility. And the, the UV stuff is going to work really well for you because the sunlight that is penetrating and as these dive a little deeper in the water column, that UV is going to reflect off better. And just keep it on the troll and just keep trolling through those schools that are splashing and rolling around and every once in a while you'll find a biter. We've got all no water this year. This no. fishery is going to go now, that Chehalis fishery and all the tribs, those fish come in all the way through Christmas. So they do. You don't need to get right out there. I mean, wait for some rain and you can go out there and get some cohos. I mean, we're going to have really good fishing all the way through, I think, this year, Christmas, even early January, on some of those rivers down there. So we uh, we're going to be following that along on the outdoor line. The other thing that's going on here, it's opening day of hunting season next weekend. What? I'm geeking out. <laughs> Do you what? Oh, I just can't yeah. wait. You know, I make my living fishing. Uh, but I can't wait to get out in the woods every fall you and like do my hunting. Animal, yeah. I really do. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of questions about blacktail hunting. And with opening season coming, opening day coming up next weekend, of course we've got hot and dusty conditions. It hasn't rained here oh in a long, gosh. long time. I, don't, I wouldn't worry about going out and getting a blacktail on opening weekend here on the west side. If you do, great. But chances are you're probably not going to get into a blacktail. And that's not a big deal. I, you, you had a great point. You said, you know, Opening weekend for blacktail and the conditions you're going to be facing mm -hmm. is is literally going to be a great opportunity for scouting. It is going to be, and, and even when we have good conditions, mm -hmm. blacktails are extremely nocturnal. They're just like the white tails you read about back in the Midwest. Right. They don't come out until the rut. The rut starts typically that last week of October, goes through November. Okay, your best chance at a blacktail is going to actually be that last week of the, of the season. general mm -hmm. season. 
and then the late hunt. And most of the blacktails actually get taken every year on that late hunt. So you can use opening weekend. Uh, I encourage you to get out and do some scouting before sure. opening weekend. Yeah, yeah. You can actually use that to do some scouting. Look for rubs, look for sign. If you find rubs, those bucks are going to be in that general area. They're probably just coming out at night mm -hmm. or right before dark uh, to mark the territory, get in there on their rub lines. Yep. Boy, if you find some clear cuts with rubs in them, it, go back there. Go back there that second weekend, the last weekend of the hunt, of the general mm -hmm. season, mm -hmm. and you got a good chance of getting into a blacktail. You know when we're going. When are we going? <laughs> we're going that latter part of the season. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Especially the late hunt. Side. Yeah, the late hunt. That's what I, I asked about. that question because I'll be out there the whole time. Well, so I know. Like, hey, you, I just, you just got to plug in and call yeah. me, and I'll get you out there. So we're I going. love blacktail hunting. It's kind of up close and personal for the most part. You, you're in tight quarters with these critters. Mm -hmm. Scent control is key. I like to use the scent away products from Hunter Specialties. Of course, I talked about it on that on the show quite a bit. And we're giving some away. We're giving some away. Of course, we're gonna have a contest on the Facebook page. Go to our Facebook started. page, yep, yeah, and post your photos for the big game upland uh, birds and waterfowl. And uh, we're gonna pick a photo each month here, October and November, and we're gonna prize you up with uh, all kinds of good stuff. Handheld GPS from our good friends of Lawrence Yeah. Electronics, and we'll have uh, one a couple of those to give away. We'll have some of the Senaway stuff. We'll have some Otis uh, compact kits for uh, those are slick kit. too. They're those just are really nice. A gun cleaning kit that's about that big. Mm -hmm. Fits and, in your backpack. Oh, you take it in your take backpack. Take it anywhere. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. good stuff. So, I'm looking forward to blacktail season, man. I I, you know, I love going to Eastern Washington. Mm -hmm. But I love the intimate situations you get in over here on the west side hunting in the brush. It's tough hunting, and maybe that's why I like it so much. That's a bit of a challenge. It is. It's yep. a it's a big challenge. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, if you get a mature blacktail, it's it's quite the feat. So okay, that's our last cast segment here from the outdoor line. October. What the heck's the date? The sixth today. Know. Gosh, times is just flying. A week already gone. Opening day of hunting season next One week. week. Mm -hmm. We'll be catching up with you next weekend. Thanks for watching here in the outdoor line's last cast segment.